it's time for Ink the Book Show with your host, Ryan O'Connor. And now, let's Ink the Book. Hello, it's me, Professor Preposterous, here with another installment of Ink the Book Show. Uh, I don't know uh, how long I'm going to be able to be on. Let me see if I can share the screen. Because um, I'm in the main room of my house, drawing today. Uh, what am I trying to do? Share screen. And if uh, my roommates come home, uh, this will have to be cut short. I don't know where they are, uh, but they may pop in at any time. So um, let's get some noise in the background. Guys, I'm on over a week of abstaining from the internet, aside from posting and streaming. And I do a daily mass, except for Sundays, I actually go to, physically go to mass, but then the rest of the week I stream it. But um, other than that, I'm not using the internet. I'm not streaming music. I'm not streaming TV shows. I'm just reading books and posting art. Uh, where is that music? How do I do this? I haven't, I don't get on as much as I want, want anymore. Um, okay. Pull up the comments so I can see when people pop in. And I'm gonna pull up my window here. Okay, now I can see where. All right. Oh, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. Quiet that down. It's a little much. Okay. So here's the page I'm working on. I'm almost done with it, I think. I gotta clean up all these shadows. I just kind of... I, I cleaned up some of them already. On uh, maybe the first couple panels. It looks like I'm done. Uh, with that part of it. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I just noticed something. I may do. Ah, oh, darn it. I went away from the comments over here. Okay. Um, let's see. Where? Okay, so this is. I'm going to make sure I got my shadow. The brush. Shadow color. Erase. I'm pretty much going back and forth between erasing and brushing in shadows. What did I see? Oh yeah. This erase. Uh, I don't like this. That's better. Um I think that's fine. Uh, this panel doesn't have any shadows. Right. Yeah, this panel doesn't have any shadows. This panel needs cleaning up. Okay. So here we go. Just kind of watched a minute. Where's my light source? Where am I coming from? Where am I going? I just opened this for tonight. Um, so I'm trying, I'm just kind of trying to remember where I left off, what I left off thinking. When I decided to call it quits last night.
I just hacked in all the shadows and now I gotta tighten them up. Kinda how I've been working. Just uh locking it in sloppy and then reining it in. First I do it with my car. I think I might even do a second layer of shadows for some stuff. And look, here's my next page. Which, uh, a lot of my, at least on these early pages, a lot of my panels are really faint. And I've been having to go over them digitally. Like this one, I did it with a lot. Uh, what am I doing, everybody? It should be illegal to do a show where you're so, um, not entertaining. <laughs> Let's see. I should be shot for my YouTube channel. That's right. Or my Twitch channel. Wherever you're watching, shoot me. Oh, so uh, I finished. I don't know if I said that I was reading Lord of the Flies. I read it really fast. Uh, and I really liked that book. I never read it before. And I've owned it for probably two years. Um, so now, when I bought that book, I also bought Lord of the Flies. Um, which, uh, oh wait, that's what I said. When I bought that book, I also bought Fahrenheit 451, which I've also never read. I, uh, started listening to an audio book of it about maybe one year ago after i bought a physical copy of it and um i liked the first part of the book i think it's broken into three parts and uh i liked the first part of the book and then the second part was kind of like losing my attention um and i stopped listening to it but i started reading it i finished part one Fahrenheit 451, and I liked it again, so now I'm on to part two. Uh, let's see now. Needs a fixin'. Yesterday I bought a book of writing, it's called Key Philosophical Writings by Descartes, Rene Descartes, uh, who's the guy who said, I think, therefore I am. And I'm, I'm, I've only gotten to, uh, I'm like halfway through the introduction of the book. And I'm fascinated. Um, Descartes said he was trying to um, come up with something like he was trying to figure out 
what he knew to be definitely like absolutely true like what was true like how do i know my things i perceive are in fact their color i don't know that like maybe maybe i just perceive color and it's not necessarily like blue is not necessarily blue uh truly and definitely no i don't want that light um <clears throat> Dogs don't see blue, or maybe I don't know, but you know what I mean. Like that—that's just like the way light and everything hits our human eyes, or whatever. Or how do we know? Like our senses aren't uh, truly representative of uh, of. Uh, reality like like or if it's just the way we perceive i think is what kind of like now mind you i'm only reading the introduction of a book so far so i'm just also i'm not good at explaining stuff but anyway um and one what his conclusion was was the, the one thing he could absolutely be certain of was that he he is thinking, therefore, he is, he exists. One thing you can be certain of is, like, it's maybe, maybe nothing I perceive, there's always the possibility that anything I perceive is not actually reality, I guess. And I got into an argument uh, with somebody about that a couple years ago. I didn't have a, a good defense for it. But uh, reading that introduction, I felt like I should re-engage that argument. Of course, I'm not good at speaking. So I would probably lose. But, um... But, uh, so, yeah, so perhaps nothing I perceive is truly representative of reality. But one thing I know for a fact is that I'm thinking. I can't, I, I can't unpack it much more than that because I don't, I don't know, um, how he unpacks it exactly. But it's a cool thought. And then I guess the second um, conclusion that he came to was that God must exist, which is surprising to me because I thought when I was reading up on Descartes a while back, I, I thought I uh, was gleaning that he was an atheist. But maybe I misunderstood. I bought the book thinking he's an atheist, a uh, philosopher. But I was kind of delighted that I read that yesterday. Um, so I'm excited about that book. And I also bought a copy of Catcher in the Rye, which I remember liking in high school, but I I think I kind of tuned out a lot of the book too, so I don't exactly remember it. So um, I, d I definitely remember I liked the beginning. Because uh, at, at the very start of the story, uh, holding Caulfield is being like a total goofball. And I remember like laughing out loud at what I was reading. And I thought that was funny that a book made me laugh out loud. So I bought a copy of that because I want to reread that when I finish Fahrenheit 451. Which I never read in high school, but a lot of my friends did. Um, 
Let's see. A lot of my friends had also read uh, Lord of the Flies in high school, but I never did. I didn't know how to read in high school, you see. No, that's not true. Um, scouring, scouring. A delay here. That's not fun. What? I think I'm gonna have to close some stuff. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to. Repeat of that uh, stream two streams ago. Let's see. What can I close? Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Okay. I don't know if you could see that anyway. I had a secret project on the screen for a second. Um, oh, that's not shadow. That's just miscolored. Sucker being kind of glitchy. Still. What the what? See? Told you. Being glitchy. You think you? Told you. Streaming luck, you know. All right, um, let's see. No.
Is going to do what I want it to do. Let's see. Um. Go to the colors I want to fix. Something. There we go. Shadows. Erase this armpit noise. Erase. Nope. And what the what the? So I'm always, like, for the past, uh, I don't know, maybe a year now, I've been reading, at any given time, I've been reading, like, four books at a time. I can just read a little chunk of each, each day. Right now, a while back I finished reading uh, J.P. Moreland's Scaling the Secular City. What else? Which is uh, Christian Apologetics. Um, dang it. Sorry to say, everybody, this goes smooth when you're not around. Um, what else? I read... Um, so right now I'm reading an Always Sunny in Philadelphia book called uh, Seven something, Seven, Seven Secrets of Awakening the something four hour giant today or something like that. It's, uh, it's written by the characters from Always Sunny in Philadelphia. So it's a real goofy book. I got it for Christmas. And um, I'm reading Fahrenheit 451. I'm reading that big cart book. And the fourth one is the Bible. For good measure. <laughs> I'm in, what book, what book am I in? Ezekiel, I'm pretty sure. Something verbose and hard to stay at work, awake during. <laughs> but I think I'm closing it. I'm getting close. Ah, for crying out loud, why does it do that? Hi, everybody. It's the second time it's done that. That doesn't happen when I'm not streaming. So why, when I'm on stage in front of people, uh, because I badmouth part of the Bible. <laughs> oh, get this. Uh, so I do this, uh, adoration thingy on the weekend at the beginning of the weekend and uh 
where I just I just go to my church and then I read. I just sit there and I pray and I read a chunk of the Bible for an hour. And I was walking in and this guy was like, he's like, that's not a King James Bible, is it? It is. <laughs> and he was like, oh, well, you're missing eight chapters. I was like, is that so? Yeah. And obviously I haven't looked into it because um, I'm not on the internet right now. Um, but I did not know that. You know why I picked the King James Bible when I first got my Bible? Because uh, I recognized the name of that version. And I probably mostly recognized it because I know Har the band Harvey Danger has an album called King James Version, which I think is a cool name for a an album. But uh, also I've found out since I don't think I like Harvey Danger all that much, other than their that one hit flagpole sit up. Um But, uh, I don't know what, I, I gotta figure out, uh, what a more, maybe a better, more appropriate version I could be reading. How does that look? Fine? Fine, you might say? Coloring. Perhaps the truly most boring part of making comics. Actually, it's kind of boring to watch, probably, but... Um... Especially when I can't keep my thoughts straight. And I'm just bumbling around doing the wrong move every two seconds. But, um... But, like, when you see it getting colored properly and it looks... It, it starts to look like a real thing. That, it makes it, like, the coolest part of the whole process. Come out and this can come out. Ooh, that was maybe too much. I don't know how to get um, like a dynamic brush for the eraser. I mean, I haven't given it much thought, but I really should because 
having this solid fat wine while my racing kind of annoying I could go back in with my brush my brush will be dynamic see So it's March with our lousy smarch weather. Seriously, it was uh, yesterday. It was supposed to snow for us after being so beautiful. Thankfully, it didn't snow, but. That's kind of how it's been going. It's snow, then beautiful, then snow. And it was beautiful. And then they were talking about snow again. But this time the snow skipped us, at least where I am. And they were saying rain, but I don't think we got rain or snow yesterday. It was kind of rainy today, I think. this shadow even to run with that line. Um Satisfactory than it was. Get that. What else? What else? You know what I gotta do? I gotta make my uh, inside covers for the first black and white issue version that I wanna put, that I wanna make available. got an idea for them. I've got the the front and back cover ready. Well, I gotta color the, the front cover. I only want to do that so I have something to show for all the work I've done so far. Um... I think, I think I'm gonna call this Dunnish. Other than I need to make the helmet layer. Um, gonna do it on top of this. We're going to gonna select this layer. I'm gonna select all the black artwork. Wait, none. Contiguous. That'll select all of it across the page. I go back to this. I'm going to title this helmets. And then, so I've got all the black artwork selected. I'm going to select a white color. This is, this is my special effect that I've been doing on these pages. Uh, I'm going to make this a multiply layer. Uh, these, I, what do you call it, these layer modes or something? I don't know. 
they just affect how this layer whatever these things they affect how this layer plays with the layers it sits on top of that's all i know i don't know more i don't know how to say it in more detail i'm, I'm inarticulate there uh maybe i don't do multiply on this do i I just do normal? Maybe I do normal. I don't even know what I do, guys. I'm a wreck. <laughs> I'm a freaking wreck over here. So yeah, I haven't been listening to music. I haven't been listening to podcasts. So you'd think I'd shake the Bill Burr a uh, little uh, Boston accent that I keep slipping into. I thought I had. And I did it a second ago. Because I was listening to his podcast a little bit. So I, I, when I'm doing these helmets, I go over all the, the black artwork inside the helmet outline. And then I select the inverse, and I do the same over all the color inside the helmet bowl. I'm going to get a bigger thing so I know I'm not missing any of the black. I could even zoom in, that might help. See, look at all this stuff I'm missing. Fool me one million times, shame on you. Fool me one million and one times. Shame on me. For being fooled so many dang times. You see. Tomorrow I'm gonna find out how much time, uh, how much screen time I've gone down. This last week I only was off the internet for four days. When I got the report, I get this report every week on my phone of uh, how much screen time I'm I'm using. And uh, four days into no internet, I was down 55%. So I'm gonna see what it is tomorrow uh i'm curious because i've been off the internet all week like for a full week now i will say i've been looking at the weather and the time a lot but it's like usually i pull out my phone to look at my phone and i hit all my social media and the internet so it's like i look at my phone and i'm like oh yeah i'm not allowed to do anything So I read emails too. I'm, I'm, I'm allowed to read emails. So I don't know. Wait, why did I do that? What am I trying to do? Oh, select inverse. So now it's got all the colors selected instead of the line work. I'm going to make that bigger. I don't know why I made that smaller. You know what I should have done? All the panels with the helmet first before I switched. But that's okay. Will forgive me because we are me. I am me. I am. I think I'm me. Therefore, I guess I'm me. Unfortunately. It'd be cool if I was some other guy. That would solve everything.
then I could blame all my problems on um, me, and no one would know who the hell I was talking about. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Sorry. Alright, so look, look at my glitchy screen over here. Folks, you get what you pay for. And that's no good Adobe products. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't know what I did to deserve this. Oh, hi. The stream is later than usual. Um, I wasn't planning on doing one today, and then I realized my roommates were out of, out of the house, so I, uh, I should take, I should seize the opportunity. I actually thought they probably would have walked in by now. Um, how long have I been going anyway? Uh, 43 minutes? I think I'm probably going to end up doing one on Monday, too, but I'm not, I can't say for certain. I thought I was going to do one yesterday, and I, I didn't get a good opportunity. So that's the main thing keeping me from doing streams every day right now, is that I... This computer's out in the main part of the house, and somebody's always home right now. So there's, there isn't always a good time to do it. Back when people were going out to work every day, I uh, could sneak a couple hours yeah. Well, then again, I was also in a room that was closed off from the rest of the house when I was inking the book. Some of this. Uh, I don't want to do this line. I 
Team Show. Okay, what else? What other panels are there? I do. Here we go. I was saying this a while back when I first started uh, coloring that um, at first I was a little hello I was a little bewildered by um, or I was a little like overwhelmed by all the colors to choose from um, that sometimes I couldn't decide on what to make a color and I'm still saying that working with markers all the time in my sketchbook every day, it really helps me pick colors sometimes. Like, this is like my terracotta. Like, uh, what is this? I don't know, goldenrod or something? I don't know. But um, I start thinking like, well, what, what, what color would I do in my markers? And then uh, kind of helps me like, pick one. I just kind of like try to go for something that I would do in my markers. Um, let's see. Select universe. There we go. That little section of the line work. And that one. I don't always feel like zooming in this close to double check. But I really should because I always find there's stuff that I missed. Uh, select invoice. Invoice. I, I don't think I did get to the inch. Shoot. Select inverse. There we go. And some of that. And some of these. Say cheese, rat! We select. I'm gonna raise this, the opacity on this a little. 
think I've had it at about 40, 45 or so. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, better save lest I don't save. Save. See, I like I like this color. I feel like that really pops. This color and this color, this little silhouette panel. I like that. Makes this whole page. It helps this whole page seem kind of warm. Uh. Hey. I think I might go ahead and export this. I might. I might. Like I was saying before, I might add another layer of shadows. Yeah, in fact, I, I'm not going to export it because I think I might do that. I'm, I got to think on it, though. Um, let's see. I had... Go ahead and open files. I started page... No, oh, this is page 18. I started page 19, but I think I closed it. Oh, because I didn't really... I didn't save it. That's what I said. Stay here. I'm hiding. Okay, I'm dragging this into here. There's that. Uh, let's see. Image adjustment threshold. And then we need to seriously go over these channels. Also, gotta erase some stuff in the gutter. Hold on, erase. Okay, we're gonna take a white brush, like we got. Bump that size up. Oh, you know what I can't see? All of a sudden I don't see StreamYard. There we go. Okay, now I'm back in business. Clean that up. Uh, ah, cram it. You just cram it, Photoshop. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna go over with pencil. Cool. Come on, pencil. I'm gonna go over the my panel borders. Let's try twelve. I think I've done ten. Not been too I don't know. Oops, still got that white. That's no good. Black is night. What's black? And red. No, what's black? Ooh. Red all over. Do I like that better? <sighs> this is this is dumb. I'm not having fun making these uh, borders thicker. Makes me sad. It's hard. I would use the. I feel like in. Um, what do you call it? Manga Studio? I would use the rectangle tool, but the rectangle tool isn't quite how you want it to be in, in Photoshop. Not too precious about how perfect these borders are. I'm sure if they're a little sloppy. Oh, I can just do that? Why didn't you tell me, Internet? I didn't know I could do that. I actually probably did at some point of my life. Well, that. That solves everything. I'll cram it sticky keys. Hold down shift, it does a straight line. But also, if you go and start another line, it's gonna connect. I, I'm sorry, I had said what, what, I'm, what little trick I was doing here. But I'm, holding, I'm just holding shift. I knew if I did a point in another point, it would connect. That's what I was trying to do originally. And what I've been doing in other streams, I forgot that I can just hold shift and it'll just draw a straight line. Blow it out, Chit. Smile. Blow it out, your smile. Will ya? Blow it out your smile, you lousy bum. Ah, crimes. I don't know how to make that stop happening. I feel like I've tried to disable it a billion times. I don't think I've ever had that problem before. 
been working on this project. Stop it. I think it's been about an hour, but I'll fin I'm, I'm gonna finish doing these borders. Yeah, it's been 101, an hour one. Um, I'm gonna finish doing these borders and then I think I'll call it on here. I, I try not like with the, the inking streams I would go on for however long it took to ink a page uh, with these coloring streams it's a lot more of me bumbling around so I at least try to show different aspects of me working at this stage and I try to keep it to an hour because it it's a lot more insufferable than watching me think. I'm a bit more competent at that than goofing around in Photoshop. And talking at the same time is clearly part of it because um, it goes way smoother when I'm uh, doing this off stream. I was inking these panels. I could just draw and talk. Like, it, I don't think it really affected it too much. But, uh... Oh, those are panels, baby! Oh, that's gonna change... That's a game changer, me realizing I could just draw the straight line like that. Oh... Peace. Okay, um, so I'm gonna duplicate this Leia. Crimes. <laughs> I don't know what I can <laughs> duplicate layer. Okie dokie. I'm gonna lock this sucker. I'm gonna lock this sucker. I'm gonna add some kind of sucker. And that'll be my color layer. And, um,. Oh, before I do that, let me select. I'll do select. Contiguous. Uh, no, wrong leg. Decently. Okay. So I want to go on to my page with the panels that I just made. Select contigu contiguously. Uh, so it's going to select all that. I'm going to do a copy. I'm going to do a paste it's gonna be my gutters sitting on top of everything that way i can slot my colors all over the place and the, gu the gutters will persist covering up that slot so i'm gonna go back to locking that lock this unlock on where i'm gonna have colors i'm just gonna just throw real quick before i end the stream i'm gonna just throw uh, I'm, I'm going to do it by panel so that they're separated. Um, why do I want them separated? So I can only work. Like if I want to fill this in with a gradient after I throw in just some random color here. Oh, you know what? When I did threshold, I changed the mode to grayscale. And I don't want that. I want to see my game. Uh, don't merge. Uh huh, uh huh. So I'm gonna fill in this just for oh this I forgot to make multiply so we can see through to the colors. Okay, back to locking that. So I do the 
kind of box in my, like, I'm just throwing in red just to have a color, standing color. But uh, none of this is going to be red, most likely. It's mainly so I know I've filled, like, like I, I'm not leaving any white behind, right? Um, so that, that's been my first step. See the colors. But I want them separated because, like, if I want this wall to be a gradient and I want this wall to be a gradient at a different angle or something or a different color entirely, um, when I go to fill this red in, it's not connected to this red. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? And I'm not altering this layer while I'm trying to work on this layer. Or uh, panel, rather, not layer. Ugh. Ryan, talking, that's not your thing. It's so not your thing. What you need is a streaming show. Okay, now I'll show you kind of. And then I'll get the heck out of here where I belong. Okay, so I've got a gradient here. And I'm just gonna edit one panel to something wacky. About as wacky as making my panels red. Okay, and I'm going to. I wonder if I even need to select it. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay, so because if I just drop it in. Oh, okay. Because I hit. See? So if I just drop it across the page, it's going to do the whole thing. Okay. So I need to select one of these panels. See? And then I'm just going to drag my gradient in, and it only affects that panel. Cool. Okay. Anyway, I gotta get out of here. Because I'm babbling like a maniac. And uh, I'll be back another time. Like I said, um, if I can tomorrow, I'll uh, do a stream. But I'm, mo I'm more shooting for Monday. And um, hopefully that works out at some point. But uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. Bye, everybody. I love you. Don't get caught. Put your pants down, everybody. See you next time.